Since March 2024, Russia has introduced an upgraded version of the Garand 2 strike drone in Ukraine, featuring a thermobaric warhead designed to enhance its strike effectiveness. The warhead's weight has doubled from 50 to 90 kilograms, delivering more powerful impacts, especially against fortified positions and confined spaces. With this enhancement, Russia has ramped up Garand 2 production, reflecting a strategic shift toward intensifying pressure on Ukrainian defenses through frequent, high-impact strikes. The Garin-2 first appeared in the Ukraine conflict in the summer of 2022. Originally based on Iran's Shahid-136 drone, it has undergone significant modifications under Russian supervision to better meet the specific needs of their military. The drone's design has evolved from a simple loitering munition into a versatile, cost-effective strike platform. One of the key changes was the replacement of the original honeycomb structure with a fiberglass frame reinforced with carbon fiber, making mass production easier and more cost-efficient. The most significant upgrade to the Garin-2, however, is its thermobaric warhead. Unlike traditional explosives, a thermobaric warhead disperses a fuel aerosol into the air before igniting it, creating a shockwave accompanied by intense heat. This explosion generates overpressure, which is highly effective against targets like bunkers, tunnels, and other fortified structures. When deployed against such targets, the Garin-2 can effectively neutralize military installations that are otherwise hard to penetrate rendering underground facilities unusable. The Garin-2 retains a modest size, measuring 3.5 meters in length and 2.5 meters in wingspan, and is powered by a 50-horsepower MD-550 engine. This allows it to cover up to 2,000 kilometers at speeds of up to 180 kilometers per hour, making it capable of striking deep into Ukrainian territory. However, Russia has made further adjustments to the drone's navigation and communication systems, improving its performance on the battlefield. The Garin-2 now uses Russia's Komita-M navigation system, which is compatible with GLONASS, providing greater resilience against jamming and reducing reliance on foreign technologies. Additionally, GSM trackers enable the drone to navigate through urban areas with an estimated accuracy of 200 meters, while communication modules allow for real-time data transmission. Some models even feature commercially available cameras for reconnaissance, enhancing its versatility in both strike and intelligence-gathering roles. Since March 2024, the Garin-2 has seen even more advancements, with new warhead types, including both thermobaric and high-explosive variants, further improving its strike capability. These upgrades have reduced the drone's range, but its proximity to the front lines means it can still effectively target deep Ukrainian positions. This is part of a broader Russian strategy to maximize the Garin-2's impact while optimizing production. The increased production of the Garin-2 is part of Russia's broader strategy of saturation and attrition. The Alabuga factory in Tatarstan plans to produce up to 6,000 units of the Garin-2 in 2024 alone, significantly increasing its presence on the battlefield. This mass production allows Russia to continually apply pressure on Ukrainian defenses, overwhelming them with repeated drone strikes. Despite its low cost, estimated at $20,000 to $30,000 per unit, the Garin-2 has proven to be an effective tool for exhausting Ukrainian air defenses, forcing them to expend resources against numerous targets. Additionally, Russia is exploring the possibility of equipping the Garin-2 with radar decoys, using Lundberg lenses to increase its radar signature. This would help divert enemy fire away from more important targets, further enhancing the saturation strategy. Despite some vulnerabilities, such as its susceptibility to interception, the Garin-2's low production cost, and its ability to be mass-produced in large numbers, make it an invaluable asset for Russia's military. With advanced navigation, real-time communication capabilities, and the ability to perform both strike and reconnaissance missions, the Garin-2 has become a reliable and cost-effective tool in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The drone's evolution underscores the growing role of unmanned systems in modern warfare and highlights how Russia is adapting its strategies to meet the demands of this complex and evolving conflict.